really, 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 really strong. What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joe Crew DMD, and today I got my first ever One Piece deck profile with real cards. All right, this is it. It's Red Green Law. I think this guy is so much fun. So in One Piece, you can only play cards that match the colors of your leader. So this is a multicolor leader. It's red and green, which means you can play red and green cards with it. The trade-off is that it has one left life. So he has four life instead of starting with five life. So basically what this guy does is once you have five character cards in your character area, you can pay two dawn and send one to your hand and play another one of the opposite color. So if you send a red card back to your hand, you can play a green card cost five or less. Same with if you send a green card back to your hand, you can play a red card five or less. So he's kind of like juggles characters around and there's some pretty interesting tech that you can do. And this is definitely a really strong leader. Um, he has also topped some events. So uh, I think it's fair to say that he's gonna be a decent meta pick. So I'm running three Usopp's. Uh, Usopp is really good. He's a 2K counter which right off the bat it gives you value in your hand even if you're not playing the card you can defend with it for 2k for one card which is pretty good defensive wall and basically what Usopp does is on your turn when he's Dawn x1 meaning when he has one Dawn attached to him if your opponent activates an extra card you get to draw a card so if you have multiple copies of these guys across the board and they each have a Dawn on them and your opponent activates one extra card you can draw for each one that has a Dawn on it so really really strong card it only costs two and it helps you get to your five on board to activate your skill Skills for law. Next, we have the best card in the deck, Nami Swan. This is the most beautiful card. I think it looks so awesome. Well, second, actually second most beautiful in this deck, but really, really good looking card. And basically what she does is when she gets played, you can search top five and add a straw hats to your hand. So it hits a lot of these targets and I will make sure to emphasize the one that I think is really, really good to grab. But one cost, play it, and you can just grab a straw hat and add it to your hand. Really nice to fill up your board because it's a cheap play and it guarantees a card in your hand more or less because the majority of this deck is straw hats next we got three sanji so originally i was running four usopp two sanji but i think i like three and three and the reason why is because on turn one if you play your usopp they're going to kill it you can actually just play sanji and let them kill the sanji because sanji is a little bit more of a threat he's more dangerous for them going into turn three so i would rather they kill the sanji early on than kill the usopp because the usopp is going to gain me value over more turns so sanji is really great because he's a 2k counter i think he's the only alt art that's a 2k counter so very 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 lucky to be able to play him so basically what he does is you can take a life and add it to your hand you get to put two rested dawn on him and he gets plus 2k power so he becomes a 7k for taking one life and what's really great about this deck is oftentimes on turn three you'll be at three life so you can take that life down to two which is going to put you in range for radical beam which i'll explain next i'm running four zoro i mean this is just kind of like mandatory zoro is just so insanely good uh such a strong card it's also a bounce target it has rush 5k rush on plus Play. So really, really strong card and just will pretty much always gain you value when you play it because you can tack with it the turn you play it. Luffy's also an amazingly strong rush card. Um, when he's Dawn X2, his attack can't be blocked. He's from the starter deck. So if you have a green card on board and your board's maxed out, you just pay two for him instead of paying five. And then if you still have Dawn open, you can actually play another one of him. So it's not so hard to play two of these Luffy's in, in one turn once your board is set up with law. Really, really strong card though. 6K and once he has two Dawn, his attack can't be blocked, which is crazy strong because block are basically like negates in this game so to be able to just swing through negates essentially is really 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 strong and i love the art on this card also you can see he's like looking over and you can like see the air coming out of his nose he's not he doesn't he's looking at somebody that he doesn't like and he's getting ready to punch them and it's exciting to play this knowing that next i got four t chops t chops is mvp i mean this guy he's just a blocker a one cost blocker from the starter deck and you can do some really cheeky stuff with this which i'll explain when i get to the cards that play into this but he's a 1k blocker he has the potential to block twice in a turn essentially if you combo the right cards with him so jet pistol is just an insanely strong card you can ko something 6k or less and um there's a lot of tech in this deck to gain more value out of this card this card also is a straw hat card so you can grab it off nami which is kind of amazing and there's ways you can neg things down in this deck which we'll get to but if you're able to get something to hit 6k power you can just hit it with jet pistol and kill it removal is very very strong in this game so really really great card i'm running four radical beams radical beam is awesome in multicolor leaders because you're starting at four life so you're going to be at two a lot faster and this actually kind of encourages you to go to two 
because you're going to be able to get 4k counter power for one dawn which is an amazing value so radical beam is just a really really strong card especially in red green you're going to be getting that 4k a lot more consistently because you're going to go down to two a lot faster since you're starting at four rizo is a really good card i would be playing four but for some reason when i play four he never shows up in my hand so whenever i play three pretty much all of them show up in my hand i don't know what's going on with this card but i feel like he might know more about me than i know about myself and three feels safe he costs three so i've just been playing three but basically rizo when he's in when you have another character card in rest mode and he attacks and he has a dawn attached to him he's going to draw you a card so really really good to gain hand size anything that draws cards in this game is just really strong but i'm i would play four if they came to me but he only shows up when i play three so i'm playing three in this list uh for cat viper cat viper is insane just being able to rest blockers is very very strong uh, being able to rest character cards in general and he rests a three or less so two costs to rest a three or less that's also going to uh, gain value for you you know if you're at four character cards on board they have a blocker you play cat viper rest their blocker you're at five you can bounce cat viper back and play luffy or you know bounce one of your red cards back and play one of your green bombs a really really strong card Izo is probably like the mvp of the deck 2k counter and rests a four cost or less so being able to rest four costs is very very strong you know four dawn is quite an investment into a card and if you just play Izo, rest it and then kill it it's really annoying for them and this also has 2k counter power in your hand so insanely valuable card but um wouldn't really expect much less from a white beard division commander i'm playing two laws uh this law is really cool the only reason i'm only playing two is he doesn't have counter power and i do have fair number of cards in the deck that don't have counter power so i'm really trying to trim down on the number of cards that don't have counter power law is a really interesting card because you can essentially bounce something between your hand so if you're using if you're playing law off your leader skill you can choose one of your red cards that are cheap pay to dawn play law bounce that card back to your hand and then law will play a cost three or less from hand so you can basically play another card on top of that the only thing is your board is going to be maxed out at that point to be gaining value off of this so it's not always amazing play but sometimes you're all right with putting something in the trash and just playing another thing on top maybe getting a blocker out and uh he also was a blocker so it's very very strong to have a 6k blocker because a 6k blocker base blocks leader attacks at base which is a very strong strong concept in this game also it's a gorgeous looking card i'm playing three yamato so that way it's not too skewed for the one good alt art ratio and it feels really good when you get this card in hand but this is another five cost green card that you can juggle with your leader so basically you take a low cost red card pay two dawn once you have five character cards in play and you can play her from your hand and when she swings she has double attack and banish which means she'll actually hit two life off of your opponent's leader and send those life to the trash now she does cost five and she's a five thousand power but in this deck you can essentially play her for two so setting her up for two is really good and she also does have a thousand counter power so really really strong card and really fun card to play when you get these hits through it feels very gratifying because it takes a lot of work to set this up i'm playing three paradise waterfall paradise waterfall is a kind of crazy card basically you pay one give something 2k power and then stand up one of your character cards so one of the crazy things you can do actually is if you have a card in play that you want to protect you can block with chopper paradise waterfall put him to 3k and stand him up and then pay one more for radical beam and make him go to 7k and he'll be standing again so he'll basically basically live through a 6k swing and be able to block again which is kind of crazy strong this combo is very very viable and having uh four and three of these i think makes it a little bit more consistent in later turns if this triggers meaning you reveal it off your life you can ko a four cost or less which is also really strong radical beam also has a trigger where you can basically give your leader 1000 power for the turn so if you see this off your life you can choose to buff your leader for a thousand power for and then jet pistol also has a trigger if you trigger jet pistol off of your life you can basically activate this card so you'll be able to ko something 6,000 power or less now for the best card in the deck otama i'm running four this card is just screaming value i think this is most value printed on a card in this set it costs one it's got 2k counter power and you can minus something by 2,000 power when you play it so basically if they have a huge bomb on board like a kaido that's like 10,000, you can play two otamas and then just jet pistol it because you'll bring it down to six and then jet pistol it so she brings stuff into jet pistol range she also negs stuff so you can swing into 
into it and clear it because a lot of this game revolves around board control and pressuring your opponent's hand getting cards out of their hand so that you can safely go in and knock their life off so otama gains insane insane value she's a really really amazingly strong card and uh c cheap cost also because she only costs one so you can juggle her back easily with laws effect if you fill your board up so that's the deck profile i hope you guys enjoyed it um this is my first one piece deck profile i'm definitely going to be doing more i'll be doing some play testing as well eventually once so stay tuned hit that subscription button if you enjoyed this you want to see more content like this thank you for coming by and i am a dentist i can't end without doing a dental tooth tip my dental tooth tip to you today is about telling you about the tips of your teeth there's kind of two tips of your teeth there's the tip that is at the tip of the tooth and then there's the tip at the other side because you have roots and the tip of the root is called the apex that's where the nerve comes out and it connects to your nervous infrastructure and sends information and stuff to your brain and your gut and all that good stuff the other tip is the crown tip or cusp tip incised ledge it's also called so yeah, that's about the tips of your teeth thanks for coming by and i'll see you guys next time